Hi, my name is Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing Vagrant Story and recording it all on VHS. Last time, we uh, teamed up with Sydney to take down... Uh, I don't know his name. Um, some guy who seems to work with Parliament or the VKP or the Church or, you know, one of those places of power. Uh, and, and yeah, they, he summoned some bad stuff. Uh, but we got a cool sword, so... Well, hey, um, unfortunately, this sword has like super great numbers uh, and puts everything that I have so far kind of to shame, um, which, yeah, it's kind of a shame for that. Uh, I'm also stalling a bit to let my magic, <laughs> my mana regenerate. Um, but yeah, yeah. Lots happened last time. No oh, geez. <laughs> Hello. Oh, these don't, this this sword just does way too much. It's real quick. Actually, we have a new sword, which means we need to instill it. But yeah, this sword like actually does you know that damage thing that I've been not able to do for a while. So um, yeah, time to get good with great swords, I guess. doing that like I, I've used all of these weapons that have that same animation pause I mean really this sword should be what I should be using this sword for is replacing uh, my heavens to 7th Heaven um, crossbow. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> that feeling when I can't see my character and I just goof up my timing. Like, in all honesty, I should, should be paying attention to all of the, like, you know, creature types and all that stuff because this uh, sword started off with, like, a really heavy... Uh, attunement affinity affinity is the word for it uh affinity f towards evil um which is great it's good for fighting evil things however it does like it's it's it is i i think it's at least 10 points higher than my uh like let's let's have a look like angel wing great it's already losing its evil affinity uh it started at 20 um, this is fine. <laughs> but yeah, 14 points. Good gravy. Why is 7th Heaven that much of a hit on agility? Jeez, okay, did not realize. Also, 7th Heaven sucks for, um, intelligence attacks. Which I guess really nothing has been good. Okay, this sword is... Yeah, this sword's good. We're using this sword for a while. That's... <laughs> That's the point. Also, we went really long last time, so uh, I'm gonna try to keep today short. <laughs> and apparently we're on a time limit, so let's do good. A little fast on that. Still a little fast. Since we're on a time limit, let's just buff things, and that doesn't seem to have made much of a damage, no, much of a difference on these numbers. Cool. 
For Rongi, we're taking it. Hopefully, I will find another chest to drop things in before we get too many weapons. have a look at that sword that they dropped. Yeah, 19. That is way higher than all of my numbers. You are fairly un un unaffined? Unattuned? <laughs> Unclassed? Uh, okay, so terminology. Class refers to type of creature it's good against. Affinity refers to sorts of things. Oh, wow. 7th Heaven has a uh, quite a bit of light affinity. Huh. Interesting. Maybe that's why I was doing such crummy damage against things, is that like I have had these building up towards certain things. Um... And, like, every creature has... That just does so much damage. <laughs> um, like, every creature has a class and an affinity, and... Um, I mean, I guess type is, like, actual type of damage of classic blunt edge pierce. Anyway, yeah. Everything has a class and an affinity, and... Those sure are things. That sure is a door. This sure is a door. I'm willing to guess this one's locked because it's blue. Hmm. Unlatched. Oh, hey! It's, uh, here. <laughs> Where is here? Right, it's, um... I know where this is. Dang it. That also means that we are pretty close to a... workshop that deals in iron. Does it deal with iron? Or does it just bronze and leather? Hmm, we are out of room for weapons. That gives us an out. skills right now anyway. Let's get reflect damage back on and that's fine. Let's 
Spirit Arzon. Cures numbness, okay. how often I should just make sure that I have full magic before going through a door. Jeez, okay. are like actually kind of different. Those are just way better. Oh wait, okay, they're right. One for each hand. Classic. Alright, let's sort things and then determine which one actually isn't anything special. Uh, these things being boosted is kind of a pain right now, actually. I actually should go back to that workshop and repair my stuff. Because I forgot to do that last time around, and it was a bad idea. Uh, bear mask, you're 2-9. Chainmail is just flat out better than banded mail. Great. Perfect. is clearly locked. Hmm. I really should go back to a workshop at some point. Maybe they would actually give me a new one someday. That'd be nice. Why are some doors blue and some doors... gray? You 
interesting. Alright, sealed with specific spells. Interesting. Does blue mean I've been there before? Definitely have not been here to mm, to keep. No, seriously, why are some doors blue and some doors gray? Locked with various spells. Well, I guess sigils, not spells. Goodness, this place just goes on and on. It is true. It is as you say. Some parts were added later, but the original Kildean letters cover every wall. The walls of Leomond, all carved with these glyphs. What do they mean? These are the spell songs. Leomond is surrounded by sorcery. You'll likely find them on every den and... Deathcoat? and dovecote in the city. The city. It has unchanged these past 2,000 years. Neither the eroding winds nor the quake have sapped its strength. The dark is strongest toward the center. The great cathedral. I have felt it. The entire city is a circle of magic. Brilliant. Yep. This guy. Uh... A brilliant deduction, my good sir. Top of your class of the academy, indeed. What? You knew? Didn't everyone? The city is the circle, the wellspring. And the book, the grand grimoire for which you seek, you're standing in it. Leomond is the grand grimoire. Why did you not tell us? This is a betrayal most foul. Why have you done this? Your memory fails you. The dark holds no power over me. Nor do I recall us ever being friends. My friendship with the Duke was fleeting as well. Have you no honor? That I do have, and enough sense to know not to throw my life away for some fool cause. You are not, but a glorified cell sword. Who, who's speaking, actually? Is it her or is it him? You are not, but a glorified cell sword. You disgust me. We live in peaceful, boring times. There's no rank to be had in killing on the fields of war. We must seize opportunity where we find it. Do you not agree, Guildenstern? You are using me too, after all. I'm your opportunity, you know that. You need me. You are a common harlot. You were born a worm and you will die a worm. The scientist was right to expel you from the Risk Breakers. Such praise. I am not worthy. Where is the key? 
Well now. Tell me or I will see you dead. You kill me. I was a risk breaker, you know. What is this? Where am I? What is this I see? Yet, I am here? Uh, Samantha, it is I. Where, where are you? They are linked. Samantha's rhythm is attuned to his golden stern. Risk breaker. He, he is near, he hides. It is past then. We join with Tiger. Yes. So, I gotta say, her hair uh, wiggling around a lot, like, there's no, no way they would have had, like, you know, proper hair physics back in this day. So, like, all that has to be, like, Oh, either some immense levels of programming sorcery or like a handcrafted animation. Um, like, those are the two options, basically. Actually locked with a real key. How rude. Hmm. So I'm at the point where it's like, this could be a good place to call, but it's also like, that's way shorter than I was expecting to go. Uh, hmm. So I do still want to keep today short, but like, this might be too short. <laughs> What is through here? I don't know why I keep pressing circle to try to open doors. I know better. This is a workshop. Okay. Cool. I had suspicions. So it's interesting that we have that... Um, oh, we have that path to the keep, and then we have stuff here. First things first, before I forget... We are going to hit that big repair button. Fuse component pieces to create new blade shields and armor. Okay, so these... Let's just poke around this a little bit. Like, it does seem to just take the combined, like, the average between the two bits. So, like, I mean, nothing is particularly fancy here. Though something I didn't realize is that the gauntlet actually has better typing. That is something I had not really considered much. Ooh, boy. Let's... 
What happens there? <laughs> so yeah, mixing two types gives you like something pretty wild. Interesting, we can't actually mess with leather stuff while we're here. Hmm. Which is unfortunate because that's like where things could actually get interesting is mixing leather, like things like the sandals and, and like the starting gear that has like pretty good magic defense, but like pretty trash uh, strength defense. Um, do I have anything that's a bit more wild? Like, again, it's it's unfortunate that I can't mess with leather things because I think that's about the only, like, you know, different element here. Tower shield is pretty, pretty stonky. But interestingly, it is like really geared towards piercing. That actually just makes a flat out stronger shield in terms of magic defense. That's interesting. I mean, I don't really use shields, but like, I think I might go through with this just because this, um, this creates a shield that has better coverage. So if I do ever use a shield, then I just have, like, one shield to worry about, as opposed to uh, dealing with shield typing. You know, I swore that I wasn't going to do more of this stuff on, on camera, but you know what? Like, it needs to get done somewhat, and also just, like, I need to suss out the system a little bit better. So, it's another one of these kind of menu-y fun time bits. We're, we're going to be messing with this, I think, for the rest of the episode. Um, because I think once I'm done here, then I'm going to say that's that's enough in call time so <laughs> if if menus and sussing out like weird rpg systems uh isn't your jam then i guess thanks for thanks for hanging out so far i'll catch you next time uh but if you're in it with me for just poking around these menus and trying to figure out yeah sure uh trying to figure out how the heck um Oh, there we go. That is an important aspect of things. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. That's... There we go. That's the thing. This is what I've been missing in, like, the whole... The whole thing. No, wait. This doesn't... Nope. Nope. No, it doesn't make new blades. Oh, geez. Okay, so that's the part of the system that I've been missing, is I can combine combine blades to create new types of things. So I would love to end up with a new bow, because my poor 7th Heaven is just not doing it anymore. Like, it's, it's just so weak. Like, I love... I do love it for a lot of reasons, but it's just... It ain't old enough. Okay. Okay. That is the piece. Like, that that's what I was missing the entire time in the system. Was throw two blades together to create more powerful versions of things. 
Um, let's try to pull out some of my older just chunks of uh, of blades. halfway through that is like no wait I don't have room to hold new weapons so if I'm going to go through with this I need to store something Shillelagh is 1113 Oh, hey, there's the thing. That's just a cross guard. Interesting. Okay. Wow, that puts this to shame. I guess it wasn't by as much as I thought. Okay, interesting. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so let's put that away. Jeez. Okay. Let's see. Mm, we'll pull out. What did I do? That's just kind of pulling out some stuff that's not really great, in all honesty. What are you attached to? Iron Rapier. Anyway, 
but at the very least, let's store that so that it's safe. And let's go make some mistakes. So now the question is, how do I combine something and try to end up with a crossbow uh, at the end? Um, Broadsword. Still gives me a broadsword. Results in a spear. Results in a dagger. Does order matter in any of this? Doesn't seem to. All right, well, that becomes a new question is, is there anything that I can combine with my existing, like, how do I end up with a, with a crossbow at the end? I'd really, like, I've really liked the crossbow. I would really like to continue having a crossbow. Um, it looks like I don't really have a lot of weapon uh, differences here. Interesting that this is holding on to most of the beast points, but losing a lot of the dragon points. Though I did probably throw something into... Like, ultimately, there's not really much of a change here, though. Okay, finding that many lizard men in a row just kind of destroyed the uh, evil aspects of the, the katana, it looks like. And just turned it straight into a dragon type. Alright. This is just dragging down the attack, though. Okay, so ultimately, I'm just kind of running into this system again and just, like, not, not finding out how to make use of it.
hello, that's interesting. I did not realize I could break down shields for gems. Oh, wait, no, you have a gem attached. So I think I'm going to, again, just kind of bounce off of this crafting system because, like, I see the ideas. And I see, like, stuff that is going to be pretty cool if it works out. But it's the matter of getting things to work out in a way that is favorable. Like, I have this super great new katana that is more powerful than everything. Problem is, it... It's so much more powerful than everything that combining it with anything is going to bring it down. And, like, I don't seem to have any anything that is going to... Um, this is going to clear, like... I don't seem to have anything that I can combine my... Um, my crossbow with this is going to result in a crossbow. So, that's where I'm going to leave this, I guess. Um, oh, I need to clean out my inventory and everything, and that's just something I don't really want to do right now. Um, yeah, yeah, I need to stop pressing that button. Like, ultimately, it's coming down to, I don't, I don't understand how I'm supposed to make this system work, I guess. Um. Yeah, that's a pretty good sword, honestly.
Interesting. Swan Song doesn't seem to actually do anything. Okay, uh, so much for this being a shorter episode. <laughs> um, there's like... I do want to just pull out some of this stuff real quick. Let's try those two things. So, I'm going to try blade combinations with 7th Heaven uh, with the dagger and the staff. Um, if either of those will result in a... like that's, that's basically what it comes down to. It's just like, I want to see if it's going to result in anything or if it's just going to be uh, useless. <laughs> Can't mess with silver here. Dang it. Well, all right. Great. That was a nice little waste of time. Everything's fine. Um, let's see. That's that. Like, <laughs> theoretically, the system is very cool. In practice, I just, I can't figure out a way to make it work in my favor. And this is the second episode that's devolved into just me messing with inventory and, like, ultimately walking away with nothing use, <laughs> like, nothing great. <laughs> um...
Okay. One last thing before we call it a day. Because I can mess with the... Whatever the H is here. We're going to try to combine our wizard staff that is made of H material <laughs> and see if that combined with our seventh heaven will result in a crossbow and if not then that's it uh that's the last thing nope still get a sword at the end a really crummy one at that All right, cool. So, um, yeah, that needed to happen. Like, I pro you know, I said I didn't want to do a lot of this on camera, but like, ultimately, it needed. I needed to experience more of the system, and ultimately, theoretically, this is all really super cool. In practice, I'm not getting it. I guess, like, either I'm not getting it, or I just don't have what I need in order to make this system work. Because I think it's supposed to be like, you know, if I were using the Fandango that was like a bronze blade, if I was, you know, building that up along the way, then it would make a lot more sense. But again, like I just got this katana that is just so drastically more powerful than everything else that I've just thrown like I've just put my like I'm, I'm just going to be using this katana for a while is what it comes down to because it's just got such better numbers and it's not going to have the affinity benefits of fighting any particular thing it's just going to be a hodgepodge of a weapon and that's fine I guess it's got numbers that are so much higher that it, none of that matters anymore um, and it's like, I want to like do interesting things with the system. And I liked the idea of having, you know, the different weapons for the different types of creatures. But when you are rolling with like a seven attack power versus a 26 attack power, uh, mm, that's, that's a pretty, pretty big spread when that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, it's twice as powerful as, like, everything else I had previously that was, you know, considered powerful. So, oh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, let's call it a day because it is no longer a shorter episode. Heck. Um, bah. Bah. <laughs> Just, ah. I want this system to be interesting. And I think it is under the hood. And it's just like, oh, I'm sure there's some really cool stuff you can do with this. But I'm not seeing it. Like, it's. I would I would need to just dig way deeper into this. So, I don't. Oh, I don't know if we're ever going to actually interact with the system in a way that's meaningful. And that's kind of unfortunate. Anyway, let's call it a day. Thank you very much for watching, especially if you've stuck around for this back half. That's been complete nonsense of me poking around this menu system again and yeah that's ultimately where we're landing is not probably not going to do this again on or off camera really like the main thing is I just need to get stuff out of my inventory and at some point that chest is going to be full of crap and I'm I don't I don't look forward to when I have to deal with that so anyway um <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I've been Bryce. This has been VHS Play. Have yourself a lovely evening.